Cool 60s style character, easygoing, relaxed, masculinity dude. He's coming in just to get a, a suit for you. And he just happens to catch the eye of the lady working here and um, she passes him her number. So it's sort of like that's pretty cool, you know, sort of having a conversation and you sort of slide into the side. All very cool, not non threatening. And he shows up at the bar and who happens to be there? And they have a laugh and a drink together and enjoy the day. It was a nice whiskey under the stairs. Nice whiskey. Actually, saw that. actually uh, we often have better glasses. I got some yes, I know, you're killing me. Yeah, it's our okay. favourite place on earth. So, so we're doing a shoot here in Parker's Menswear. This is Saul. Saul, thanks for coming around. Hey, Dan, and nice to see you. Thanks for spawning the stuff too. It's absolutely fantastic. There's nothing better than doing a shoot with decent gear. And the clothes will shine, and Mary Claire will shine, and hopefully, yeah. You know what, let's drop the jacket. Let's drop the jacket and the shirt. Have you got the yeah, yeah. Parker shirt on yet? To be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. And we're going to work a few different looks. Uh, what we're going to go for here is some small movements, little changes, capture some different emotions, pick something up that we'll play on, and then we'll throw that into the suits. For the people shall not perish from the earth. So Paul, let's start with this now. And guys, are ready? And go. So Paul, let's have a bit of a run through of what we're using because we're doing a bit of behind the scenes with fashion shoot here. Shooting video, shooting photo, and we're using all the toys. Let's have a walk through it, shall we? Start I think this. it's actually especially exciting because you're not using lighting all the time in your general shoot, so. No. But this right. is one of the first times using it this many pro photo lights. This is the most pro photo lights in one confined area I've used, yes. Right, so let's uh, talk a bit about it. We've got four heads. Four heads, yeah. Okay, awesome. And. Um, B1X. Yes. Yes. So nice and portable. They're all just uh, battery clip on and off. There's yep. no cables. No. Excellent. I uh, see on your Fuji GFX you've got the. Pro Photo Fujifilm Air Remote. Yep, hasn't missed one time, which is already great. No, uh, not one single misfire? Not one single misfire, oh, yeah, that's, no, that's very good. Never used this before, but that's fantastic. Um, from here, what we're doing, we're shooting tethered uh, to my laptop and then running that so we've got actual accurate color on the go to the SW24 BenQ, which of course, this is the unit that we took to the Yukon, drags with the snow, believe it or not, yeah. um, and still going strong. I've seen this on a rock in the middle of uh, the, a mountain in Canada, is that right? Exactly right, exactly. No one needs to know. Are we really going to be better in um, shooting this thing in black and white? We know exactly what we've got in terms of colour when we start. It's important because we're shooting video as well as shooting photo. Right. And look, you can see great stuff in the back of the screen of a GFX, but it's nothing compared to 24 inches. Now, I think it's super important to understand colour management, and that's why we've got a BenQ monitor rather than just going straight off a laptop, be it a Mac or a PC. Having the actual colour accuracy of an Adobe certified monitor makes all the difference. Exactly yeah. right, and especially too when you're showing a client on the spot rather than just showing a raw file on the back and going, look, trust me, it's going to look good you can go, this is how it's going to look, and it actually makes a huge yeah. difference. Yeah. yeah. What do you so think? They can almost be their own art director and they can see exactly what they're going to get. Exactly. In terms of the video, what's actually pretty cool, we're using the... X-T3, X-T3 which is the latest oh. from Fujifilm, mm -hmm. and ec ecstatic uh, video quality. Right here, we got the X-T3. Uh, we got a Zhiyun Crane 2 and that's hooked up to this Icon Steadicam system here as well. Basically running X-T3 with Atomos Ninja Inferno, so capturing big files. Um, so X-T3 was shooting in 4K60, which is recording straight to the Atomos Ninja Inferno. That's uh, outputting in ProRes 422. However, plans at the moment are things are gonna be black and white. And uh, yeah, couldn't be better. Just got to give a massive shout out to the, the good lads at Camera Electronic for hooking us up with this. Definitely check them out. They got rentals, get all your sales there, definitely.
So we could turn this into an easy commercial, be it for Parker & Co, who are here today, and thank you Parker & Co, or for Profoto or Fujifilm. Exactly right. Nice little commercial coming out of this one. Exactly, and it's nice to be shooting sort of Fujifilm all the way. So Fujifilm there, and of course the Fujifilm GFX, which is my principal shooter. Good stuff. So now we're going to slip across. We've got one more scene to shoot, and then it's a lot more video. Then we're going to push across to the whiskey bar, which is really, really good. And hopefully that the guys there are pretty friendly because uh, finishing off with whiskey sounds good to me. Yes, we'll need a bit of image stabilizer for that, but I'm <laughs> sure it'll be fine. Uh, Sawman Frank, Camera Electronic, thank you guys. Yeah, Thanks, Dan. Stuff. Thanks, Saul. Cheers. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Thanks, bye. Oh, so long.